Yes, guys, what's going on? Gareth Jenkins here at Ministry of Fitness. Come down to meet the boys from UK Peptides. Here to tear a big back workout. Uh, basically, the, the idea of this video is just to show you people from uh, all aspects of training, whether you're bigger, smaller, more ripped, you know, more, more bulky. You can all train, all get it done, all mucking and all have a laugh. It's all about the laugh and uh, feeling good about yourself, guys. It's not about all this ego nonsense today. So they're getting there, tear up some massive deadlifts and uh, get swole, basically. I'll pass you to Chris. Hi, I'm Chris Foster, I'm the Managing Director of UK Peptides. Down with a few uh, staff there and uh, come to meet Gareth Jenkins. I've uh, been wanting to meet him for a while. Uh, it be nice to train with him today and uh, lift some heavy weights up. Big Chris Bray's first time deadlifting, never deadlifted before. His form spot on in my opinion, because he's never done it before. He's about to pull four plates, 180 kilos. Big cunt, let's go. I just want to stress something right now, right? Chris, um, who's brought the lads down to see me, well, he's driven all the way from Middlesbrough, so massive, massive respect to him. And he brought me a steak last night. I want to stress one thing as a fact, he's nearly 51 years old. Nearly 51, looking that good, yeah? These boys I know, smashing all sorts into him, like left, right and centre. You can't come close to his sort of shape, how lean he is, because of how well he eats. Everything, like I tell everybody who asks me questions all the time. It's all in your diet, all in your diet, training hard. 51 years old, put the shape on <laughs> Nothing but hard work and dedication, man. The reason I do these behind the neck, kneeling from the floor, is uh, I've got a bit of a dicky shoulder. I tore two tendons recently, and I find that the actual angle of the cables pulling my shoulders back pulls it more into a natural position. Don't go all the way down to touch my traps. Just pull slightly beyond the head, and I find I can actually engage my lats a lot better with a lot less um, shoulder involvement than, than doing it sitting facing into the machine. What we're doing here is we're not actually doing chins, we're just doing uh, practically the end of the session, so just really getting the blood into that um, back of the shoulders, into the scapula. So it's just hanging off the bar, doing the first phase of a chin up, just moving the scapula. I find it's just a good burner and helps keep the shoulders in line when you are doing things like lap pull games. <laughs> 